Hey everybody, I hope you're doing awesome. Today I have another Arduino tutorial and we're going to talk about using a servo motor with Arduino. And we can see we have this, this little servo motor here connected directly to the Arduino. Now that may or may not be a good idea depending on the motor and what you plan on doing with it. So we're going to talk more about that in a minute. But I just want to demonstrate real quick what this does. So I'm going to plug in the Arduino and give it a second. And we see it spinning around, doing a 180, and reversing and doing another 180. Okay, so that is what this program does. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about how servo motors work or anything like that, but I do want to say a few things on motors in general. Now, motors can draw a fair amount of current, and the more load a motor has, the more current it's going to draw. And when a motor stalls, as in it too much load, it can't handle it, it's trying, 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 but just can't do it, that's when it's going to draw the most current. And we see this little thing here, this is the horn, it's called a horn, spinning around. And I took some current measurements earlier of this setup right here. And right now, no load, it draws anywhere from 60 to 185 milliamps, depending on where it is in the, you know, the position or where it is in the program. Now, if I take this and grab it with my fingers and stop it and actually stall the motor, that shoots up to about 430 milliamps. Now, the Arduino Uno, the power supply regulator, is capable of about a maximum of 800 milliamps, no more. And when it's plugged into USB, of course, most USB ports are only good for 500. But you also have to factor in the chip is going to draw some current, the microcontroller that powers the Arduino, and, you know, the little LEDs and stuff. So you could get yourself in trouble real quick if, say, you have a couple of these hooked up directly to the board, and for some reason they stall. Say your robot runs into something or something like that. Uh, it could draw a lot of current, especially if it's a bigger motor like this here. This servo, we can see, is considerably larger than that one and is capable of drawing a lot more current than this little tiny one here. And actually, this even this little one can draw more than 430 milliamps. And I'm going to show you right now how that is. I'm going to connect this. In the, Disconnect that for a minute. And I'm going to connect this little servo motor here directly to my benchtop power supply. I've got these nifty little cables here. There we go. And let's do our 5 volts here. And our ground here and make sure they don't touch. We don't want them touching. And I'm going to plug the Arduino back in. Give it a second, then I'm going to kick on the power supply. Now we see this thing spinning round and round in circles this time. And let me show you what it's drawing no load. Anywhere from 110 to 140 milliamps, no load. And if I stop this thing with my fingers, it shoots up to about 640, eh, between the high 500, 640 milliamps. So this could draw some significant amount of current, even a little motor like this. So just, just a word to the wise, a fair warning, when you're connecting things like this directly to your Arduino, be careful, make sure you have a good understanding of the board's capabilities and how much power or current it's going to draw, rather. Now, let's jump on over and talk about some code. 